Hands up if you've ever been through Waterloo Station. So I bet it was great. I bet you had no delays, no cancellations. <laughs> so I'm Emma, and I'm going to be talking about my engineering experience as part of the Waterloo Upgrade Works. These works are aiming to improve capacity of Southwest trains. My role within that was at Waterloo International Terminal. This is the old Eurostar terminal, and it closed in 2007 when St Pancras opened. We came along with the idea of taking five international terminal platforms and bringing them into use for the domestic station. This is a photo of the five international terminal platforms, and I took this photo from the domestic station. The eagle-eyed amongst you will notice you cannot walk to those platforms from where I'm standing taking the photo. A key part of our brief was to provide access, which we, in true civil engineering fashion, did by building a bridge. And the Waterloo International footbridge was my first bridge. Woo! Now, in order to build my bridge, we had to remove this concrete here. And this is where it gets super interesting. I have my absolutely no expense spared model of the International Terminal. We have the blue roof truss here, and we have the concrete platforms here. Now, the International Terminal behaves like a bow, as in a bow and arrow. See, just as the frame of a bow is pulled in, as you pull down the string, the edges of the International Terminal roof are pulled in by the weight of the concrete pulling down. Equally, if I then release the string of my bow, the edges of the frame will move out, and were we to just remove the concrete, the edges of the international terminal roof would have moved out. And I hope we can all agree we didn't want that. But at the same time, we did have to remove the concrete because I wanted to build my first bridge. But how to do that without the roof moving? We tied the roof together with a giant steel cable. We literally attached it to one end, and then we dragged it across and we attach it to the other. Now, the roof is being held in position thanks to this cable pulling the ends in. Nothing to do with the weight of the concrete pulling down. It's meant to remove as much concrete as I wanted, which I did, and then simply lift my bridge into position. And because the bridge weighed the same as the concrete that we'd removed, the cable is no longer needed. I want to drive this home because we tied together an internationally acclaimed structure so that we could remove a bit of concrete, allowing me to build my first bridge, giving Waterloo Station an extra five platforms and so helping to improve capacity of Southwest trains. One feat of engineering has helped transform the lives of tens of thousands of people who use that station every day, including many of you. I am very proud to have been a part of that. So thank you for listening to me. Are there any questions? <laughs>